Exciting news, you can obtain my latest book, Applications of Deep Neural Networks with Curas, as a free 577 page ebook, just like before. But you can also get it now as a paperback. It's available now from Amazon. The link is in the description below. I created this book specifically for my course, Applications of Deep Neural Networks, that I teach at Washington University in St. Louis. A complete collection of lecture videos are available on YouTube. These videos are not just recordings of me talking in front of a class for an hour. Instead, they are short 10 to 15 minute increments produced explicitly for an online format. I use a GitHub repository that allows you to run every course example and assignment in Google Colab. I plan to re-release this book at least once a year, perhaps every semester, just to keep it current. If you look at my GitHub history, since I started teaching this course almost five years ago, you'll see that I frequently update the material to keep it up with this fast-paced technology. Chapters one and two provide an overview of the parts of Python and Pandas that you will need for this course. Chapter three introduces neural networks and shows TensorFlow and Keras, how you can use them for both mathematical and neural network type applications. We start at the beginning with chapter four, with tabular data. Though random forest gradient boosting, support vector machines, and more traditional models are generally better suited to tabular data than neural networks, neural networks can handle this sort of data. Chapter 5 introduces regularization and dropout, which will allow your neural networks to combat overfitting and achieve greater accuracy. Computer vision is one of the areas in which neural networks are truly changing the world to provide insights into these images. Chapter 7 shows that neural networks can generate images in addition to recognizing them like we've seen before. Generative adversarial neural networks, GANs, allow neural networks to look at data such as images and generate synthetic data based on those images or original data that look very convincing. Chapter eight demonstrates Kaggle, which is sort of like competitive sports for machine learning, in which competitors compete to solve a Kaggle problem and achieve the top score. Each semester, I provide a learning objective for my students, which is a Kaggle in class competition where they compete with each other to achieve the top score. Don't go it alone. Stand on the shoulders of giants. Fang companies spend many millions of dollars training models. Chapter nine introduces transfer learning that allows you to train your neural networks based on weights that the Fang companies already established for you. Chapter 10 introduces time series for neural networks. Time series has become an area that neural networks particularly excel in beyond older models where you had to do very customized feature engineering to get time series data into the model. Chapters 12 shows how reinforcement learning allows a neural network to learn an entire process step by step. This is often applied to learning games, but it can learn real world processes as well. Chapter 13 demonstrates how to deploy models into production, use them as APIs, use Flask and other things to get your models doing something useful. Finally, chapter 14 completes the book by looking at other neural network architectures such as autoencoders and anomaly detectors. I end the book with an overview of upcoming neural network technologies that I might be adding into the book in the following semester. And I suggest some next steps for your continued study. Wow, you made it to the end. You really should subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything. Thank you for watching. I hope you will check out the book. If you purchase it, thank you very, very much for your support. This helps me to continue this learning experience for all of us.